Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and a very warm welcome to this video. Today we are talking about Luminar Neo and how it compares to Adobe's Lightroom. So we will be measuring the differences of these two products using six different dimensions. These are photo management, presets, photo enhancement, photo editing, user experience and price. However, if you are feeling particularly impatient today, you can try both of these products for yourself and to that end there is links to your free Luminar Neo and Lightroom trials in the description below. So let's begin our comparison with photo management. While photo management in Luminar Neo has improved it falls far short of Lightroom. With Neo you can rate your photos, assign images to albums and trade pictures between your computer and smartphone using the Luminar Neo Share app. Neo now has Smart Search, an object recognition powered search tool that allows you to find photos based on their content. For example, you might use Smart Search to return all photos containing birds, mountains or architecture. However, Lightroom does all of this and quite a bit more. Lightroom's photo management also includes face recognition, enabling you to browse photos by those appearing in them. Moreover, because Lightroom leverages the cloud, you can access and edit images from most computers, smartphones and tablets and easily share your photos with family, friends and clients. However, there is a catch. Lightroom's face recognition and object recognition powered search only work with the images you've synced with the cloud. Now this shouldn't be an issue since Lightroom includes one terabyte of cloud storage, but if you plan on accessing your pictures from local storage, these advanced cloud powered features will not work and you may prefer Luminar Neo instead. In summary, I consider Luminar Neo's photo management much improved and certainly adequate. However, Lightroom's photo management is top tier so long as you're happy to sync your images with Adobe's cloud. So having covered photo management let's talk a little bit about presets. Now both Luminar Neo and Lightroom have a vast preset collection providing a quick one-click route to well-processed images. Furthermore Luminar Neo and Lightroom will analyze your photo and recommend which preset may best suit it. Finally you can download additional presets for either or save the sum of your entire edit as a preset for future use. Overall, if presets are critical to your workflow, both Luminar Neo and Lightroom have plenty to offer. So now it is time to talk about photo enhancement. In other words, how well does Luminar Neo and Lightroom upscale, denoise and sharpen your images? Regarding photo management, Lightroom marginally beats Luminar Neo thanks to its top tier AI powered noise reduction tool AI Denoise, which is vastly superior to Neo's equivalent, Noiseless AI. However, Lightroom's super resolution and Neo's upscale AI are comparable in enlarging your images. Yet Lightroom has no alternative to Luminar Neo's super sharp AI, an AI powered sharpening tool that has the potential to correct poorly focused and motion blurred images. Therefore, you might prefer Luminar Neo over Lightroom if you prioritize blur correction over noise reduction. However, when it comes to photo enhancement, it is well worth noting that both Luminar Neo and Lightroom are well beaten by other products. Therefore, it might be worth you considering which of these applications you prefer based on factors besides photo enhancement and then supplement whichever one that you prefer with an application such as On One No Noise AI, DxO Pure Raw, Topaz Photo AI and indeed Gigapixel. So Luminar Neo or Lightroom, which is best for photo editing? Luminar Neo has far more photo editing features than Lightroom and is ultimately more capable as a result. Yet, you may prefer Lightroom's traditional photo editing workflow to Neo's effects oriented approach. Specifically, Lightroom's workflow is built around classic adjustments such as exposure, tone curves, white balance and so forth. While Luminar Neo also features a classic develop tab, it leans towards compound effects with well-named tools such as Foliage Enhancer, Golden Hour Glow and Sky Enhancer. Yet, Neo takes things further with its wide range of AI super 
for tricks. Sky AI will replace your photo sky and relight your image to match. With Relight AI, you can adjust the exposure of your photos foreground and background independently, which is ideal for correcting backlit portraits. You can also use face, skin and body AI to brighten, slim and perfect your subject's features. While Lightroom has now added a portrait background blurring feature, it still falls short of Lumina's portrait bucket AI. With Neo, you can add effects layers and even blend different images, whereas Lightroom users will need to upgrade to Photoshop to do the same. Both Lumina Neo and Lightroom offer AI masking, instantly enabling you to mask your photos sky, subject or background. While Lumina Neo's masking is more flexible, Lightroom's is more accurate, although it does tend to vary from image to image. It's much the same story when it comes to comparing Neo and Lightroom's AI erase brushes, though again I would say Lightroom's generative AI eraser is more reliable than Lumina Neo's. Finally, Neo has a few new generative AI tools. With GenSwap, you can insert new elements into your image or trade one element for another. With GenExpand, you can extend your photo's boundaries with Luminar's generative AI filling the void with new content. Yet while these features are indeed novel and innovative, they are unreliable and need time to mature. So it's fair to say that viewers on this channel love photo editing features, yet none of these features matter if the product is bad for use. So let's talk about user experience. Luminar Neo's effects orientated workflow makes it one of the best photo editing applications for beginners and anyone in a rush. In in contrast, Lightroom's more traditional workflow demands that you understand concepts such as exposure, white balance and tone curves. Yet Lightroom's relative simplicity is also its strength. Its attractive and concise interface reacts to your inputs in real time, resulting in a slick, light-footed user experience. In contrast, Luminar Neo can chug under the weight of its labour-saving smarts, mainly if your edit includes the application of multiple effects. Regarding effects, Neo offers far more than Lightroom. However, some of Neo's features feel a little bit underdeveloped and at worst some feel like gimmicks. With Lightroom, you get far fewer features, but the ones you do get are very useful, feel polished and are certainly matured. So while Luminar Neo does do more than Lightroom, what Lightroom does do, it does very well. And while Luminar Neo can run slower than Lightroom, thanks to Neo's powerful compound effects, it may still be your quickest route to a finished edit. Thus, whether you prefer using Luminar Neo or Lightroom is a matter of personal preference. So it's time we got serious and discussed price. Now, this isn't quite as straightforward as you might think it is. So in absolute terms, Luminar Neo is cheaper than Lightroom in most use cases. Critically, you can buy and own Luminar outright, at the moment at least, for $139, US, whereas Lightroom will cost you $11.99 a month for as long as you want to keep it. In other words, Lightroom will cost you more every year than you once paid to own Luminar Neo outright. However, this isn't strictly a fair comparison. Firstly, Lightroom includes one terabyte of cloud storage, whereas Neo provides none. And remember, storage always costs you, whether you're buying cloud storage or even local disks. Second, buying Luminar Neo outright includes one year's worth of updates. But with Lightroom, you will continue to receive updates for the life of your subscription. Therefore, whether you consider Lightroom a good deal really depends on how much you value those perpetual updates and that one terabyte of cloud storage. If you value Neva, Luminar Neo is the better way to go. So to conclude, which is best, Luminar Neo or Lightroom? Well, Lightroom is the superior photo management tool, whereas Luminar Neo is the more capable photo editing application. Neo relies on user-friendly, effects-orientated tools to produce big results quickly, but can suffer from latency during extreme edits. At the same time, Lightroom's traditional approach demands expertise, yet rewards those who stick around with a concise, capable and highly responsive interface. Luminar Neo does more. 
but some of its features feel more developed than others. In contrast, Lightroom's modest feature set feels mature and well executed. However, you can buy and own Luminar outright for less than a 12 month Lightroom subscription, making it a much better deal for some of you. Yet, you may be drawn to Lightroom's one terabyte of included cloud storage and its perpetual updates and thus find Lightroom better value overall. So this is the part of the video I remind you that I am indeed an affiliate for both Adobe Lightroom and Luminar Neo. Therefore, I am sort of impartial through saturation. But again, you don't have to take my word for any of this and you are free to try both Luminar Neo and Lightroom via the links in the description below. You can also drop by my reviews over at Silent Peak or indeed visit the Silent Peak store where I have the latest prices, exclusive deals and even a few promo codes. Well, when it comes to this comparison, I believe we're just about done. However, if you do have any questions about Lightroom or Luminar Neo, do drop them in the comments below. I'm assuming you've been on YouTube before, so yeah, please like the video, subscribe, thumbs up, you know, you know the deal. My name's Richard from Silent Peak. I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.